Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 20th of 2024 is titled Sandy and the Moon Halo. So what do we see here? Well, off to the right, we see Sandy, the dog there standing, guarding the gate uh, off in the distance. And up in the sky, we see an image of our moon. Now, this was taken uh, last April, and the full moon here allows us to see the halo around the moon. And this is the 22 degree ice halo caused by ice crystals in Earth's atmosphere. So again, nothing associated with the moon itself, but it's Earth's atmosphere that causes this effect around this. Now as we look down on the ground we can actually see shadows cast by the moon. The full moon is definitely bright enough to cast significant shadows in areas and we can see some of that here. Now we have another full moon coming up in just a couple of days and that will be the full moon of June and is shortly after the solstice of June. In fact just barely a day after the, after the solstice we will have a full moon and the solstice occurring on June 20th. And that will mean, what does the solstice mean? Well, solstice means that the sun stops. Well, not literally stops, but over the course of the year, the sun gets higher and higher in the sky and then gets lower and lower. So from the winter solstice, when it was at its lowest point for the last six months, it's been getting slowly higher and higher in the northern sky. And on today, it will then turn around. It will stop and start getting lower again. So this will be the longest amount of daylight in the year for those in the northern hemisphere. And that means that the sun will rise early and set late and giving us much more daylight than darkness. Now the farther you are north, the more extreme this will be. So in equatorial regions, it's not as noticeable. However, as you get farther and farther north, you will see it even more and more to extreme cases. And if you are far enough north, you'll actually have days where the sun will remain up above the horizon for the entire day. Now, after this, now the sun will start getting slowly lower in the sky. And you would notice that shadows cast will start to get longer and longer. So if you observe the shadow of an object over the course of the year, you would see in late December, and again, I'm talking for northern hemisphere observers, that it would be the longest shadow at, say, noontime. And if you observe at that same time every day that shadow would slowly get shorter and shorter until today when it becomes its shortest and then it will start to lengthen again. So that's one way we can easily see the motions of the sun over the course of a year as it gets higher and lower in the sky as it goes between the two solstices. So that was our picture of the day for June 20th of 2024. It was titled Sandy and the Moon Halo. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.